Now, some of you guys may be familiar with Google Glass, which was a computerized pair of glasses that Google released. Now, it was a little bit over the top because most people were like, I'm cool with holding my computerized devices in my hand. But despite that, Google has taken hands-free computing to the next level. Like, this is past the next level. This is bonus stage. Now this episode's question of the day is, would you get a computer inside of your eye? Yeah, let me know down there. A little creepy, huh? But here's some of the details that I found about Google's computer that they're gonna be implanting inside of your eye. Google has already filed a patent for it, which has several uses. One, the computer can be used to improve your eyesight, as well as it can process information. Now there's no word on what that specifically means, processing information, but we've seen enough movies. I'm sure we can kind of determine Determine what this actually means. I believe that this will be able to analyze what you are looking at, kind of like, you know, Terminator, as well as perhaps monitor other vital body signals, like if you're low on blood sugar, or if your heart rate is too high, etc, etc, etc. Maybe even show up maps in real time to make traveling easier, and probably like shoot out some laser beams or something. Okay, that's probably coming a bit later on in the future. Now, as cool as this all may sound, the fact of the matter is, this is in your I. Not only does Google want to dominate the world around us, but now they want to get all up inside of us? Now since January of this year, the Google Glass has been put on hold because people ain't about that. It was surrounded by controversy because you could have the Google Glass on and you could be recording and taking photos. A little bit creepy for some people. But now if they implant the computer in your eye, that risk is multiplied. I can see the benefit of having a computer like this if it is going to monitor your eye. If you have symptoms in your eye that become very problematic for your vision. But is the world ready for implanted computers? I don't think so and I'm not the biggest fan of this. But what I am a fan of is you guys that watch FTD News every single day. Gotta do some quick shout outs right about now. The first photo comes from Jamie Lee all the way from Trinidad. Hey Azalea, isn't that your hometown? Yes it is. Gil, Jamie Lee, GT. <laughs> She'll get it. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm Jamaican. I can't understand Trini. Misha Sal, who also sent in his sexy face. He says, hey Leroy, this is my sexy face. I watch your videos every day. And he's watching all the way from London, England. And finally, we got Nick watching all the way from the United States. I don't know where in the United States. Thanks so much for watching. I see you're giving me peace. I'll give you double peas. Big respects, man. Guys, remember, follow me on Instagram. Link to that down below. Send in your photos and I'll feature you in an upcoming episode. And Azalea will do that too. Yeah, so definitely follow me also on Instagram at Azalea Zoe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to keep it locked and loaded here on FTD News for all the latest and craziest news going on in our world today. Until the next video, guys, I'm Leroy Kenton. Boom. Meow.